so what's up everyone welcome back to your channel bright life institute i'm alicia did you know that nearly one in three women are abused in their lifetime women worldwide have taken to the street in demand for justice and uh, and the violence against them many countries are greeting the protesters with brute force. Turkey, Mexico have sent riot police to beat up those women that are protesting for their rights. A movement has started on the 25th November 2021 called Orange the World. A group of women protesters in Turkey was met with heavy helmet policemen and wearing protected gear like they were going to a war to beat up those women. We see women still fighting and kicking the big shield that those coward men were pushing on them. In Mexico, a protest of very angry women took the street in mass. I must salute those brave female warriors girls you guys look amazing fiercely and gorgeous so come on then men are from the planet mars planet of war and women are from the planet venus planet of love it said that this is a man world but who is running the show we girls are doing this. Let me remind all the women in the world how powerful you are. Women can multitask. We take care of our home, our children, and hold down our men. A man should never raise his hand on a woman. What a coward. Ladies, some of us have raised some of those guys to become the prize. And some of those guys are walking around believing it. Society raised women and men differently. No wonder we are having problems with each other. Men get applauded for behaving badly with their mates. Some of those guys doesn't want a relationship, they spy, they want exclusive access to you. They disrespect you like you are not good enough for them, when the truth is they are not good enough for anyone. Women have been raised to care, to take care, but what the hell is this? How can we continue to care? when there are so much bad behavior that come with those guys. Ladies, you go protesting in the street and they send armed guys to beat you up. Recently, I spoke to a woman that were married to a violent man that beat her up every day when he's out seeing other women. That woman reported the issue to her family and her own father that should protect her told her that she need to keep taking it. So as nobody around her agreed with her to stand up, she stayed there until he got tired of her and he demanded the divorce. Actually, the advice that her father gave her was stay with him until he decides to let you go. Huh? Thanks for the advice, father. It's so bloody nice of you. Jesus. Some of you ladies want to stand up for your rights by going to protest naked and showing up your breasts. This nonsense has to stop, so stop it. We are fighting creature from Mars. And on Mars, no men are going to go button in the air 
to fight the other side. No. On Mars, they plan. They are strategic. They smartly plan to attack. But they also think of their safety because they want to win. They don't want to just to fight it. We women are fighting our men in the hope they allow us and they serve us what we deserve. We think they are going to be fair. It's like we are asking the validation still. This, we must stop this. This is not us asking permission to be treated right. This is a demand. Let me share with you a few names of female warriors. Some of them are Chinese, you excuse me for that. Lady Fu Hao, Qin Si, Tang Se Ha, and in my home country in France, Jeanne d'Arc. If those guys on Mars are beating up women when she's demanding respect, something that a real man will respect and not those barbarian coward fool that are, have no integrity ladies always put your protection first plan a more strategic action to carry your battle physically we are less strong than those guys but mentally and emotionally we can take them on. When women start to walk together, they become deadly to those Martians that just don't know what is coming for them. Those cowards are not real men. This put to the question, where are the real men? What they are doing about those coward guys here? Those cowards I have nothing else to do than beating up helpless girls right here. We women can handle pain. We get pain all our life. I support the movement Hashtag Orange the world. Women, few things we don't need to ask a man for are. Please don't cheat on me. Please don't disrespect me. Please love me. Please choose me. And please don't beat me up. We women are not going to beg for any of that. Clearly, protesting fairly and openly is not working as the boys are not looking to play fair. Well, we need to find another way to sort this out. Act and protect yourself. No matter your nationality, age or location, we, other women, we support your fight as it is also our fight. Guys want to battle for our rights? We can deliver a battle with such a passion, no man will be comfortable to sleep at night. Some of those coward men may be husband of us, father to our kids, brother or father to us. Our kids stand with us. Alexander the Great was very close to his mother. Alexander couldn't stand the way his father was treating his mother. We need to give some respect to all the mom out there that are putting hard work day in and day out to everybody's life that they have in their life. That's including their men. Ladies, if you are with a man that don't value you, find a way to make that man live your life. You don't need it. Don't chase a guy that don't see your worth. Don't try to entertain a guy that already got a girlfriend or a wife. Ladies, 
know your worth. Your power of a woman is to work on yourself and find your confidence. When you see what is happening, we got to find that confidence to stand up for herself. Men have been told that their bad behavior and lack of commitment are awesome. Be as bad that they can be as why be faithful to one woman only. And this is boring apparently. Society validate all the disrespect those guys are doing in their relationship. Checking heavily over women when they got someone at home investing on them. No, no, no. Allow your man to be free, completely free and be himself by letting him go. If he can see your value, let him go today, right now. If a man put his hand on you, get rid of him. Make it your business to get rid of him completely from your life. He doesn't deserve to be with you. Ladies, you can be happy by yourself. Better be by yourself than be with someone that mentally destroying you day in and day out. Learn to be alone and find the love for yourself for yourself. Too many women are desperate to be in a relationship with a man and she believes she can only be happy when she's chosen by a man. No, you can choose yourself and you should. Select a man that is adding value to your life and not a man that keeps sending you the message that you're not good enough. Ladies, this is the power of women. I would like to put a little note regarding the violence that women are going through. In no way that I'm not saying also the certain men are also suffering violence with their female mate. Yes, it's also happening to men. But men are more quiet about it, maybe because they feel ashamed about it. I must also take responsibility for my own action. I myself, when I was going through some difficult situation with my partner, I started to get violent toward him. And that is wrong, that a man or woman get violent, you're not right. It doesn't matter who is inflicting the violence, the man or the woman. Violence in a relationship between people should not be tolerated. And I know that some of us also, ladies, can get emotional and we start to attack our partner. But we all have the choice how we treat our mate and we all can choose to treat Hamid, the best that we can. But still, I want you ladies to know that I'm supporting your fight. I don't really know the situation all of you are under, as I know that in certain countries, violence toward women just happened from nowhere and from nothing. Not because she was disrespectful, not because she was violent, not because um, she did something wrong. She just get beat up by this guy because he feel like it. And like I say, girls, protest, but clearly some of you in those countries are protesting under a regime that have no tolerance for woman voice and you are putting yourself in danger by going openly in this kind of culture you can find a better way and another way to raise your voice and to carry these battles so 
This is Brighter Life Institute, your channel. I'm Alicia, and I hope that you guys got something from this video. If you did, give a big like, subscribe, comment, and share your opinion. This is all for me today. I wish you a great day and thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!